Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to find the pH for weak acids. Before we practice how to find the pH for weak acids, we should know the difference between weak acids and strong acids. Strong acids like HCl, they dissociate completely, like this. So if we have 0.5 molar of HCl, we're going to get 0.5 molar of hydronium ions because strong acids they dissociate completely so the concentration of the hydronium is going to be equal to the concentration of the HCl and in this case it's easy to find the pH by using the formula minus log concentration H3O plus so pH is equal to minus log concentration H3O plus but in the case of weak acids, they dissociate partially, like this. Here, acetic acid, it's a weak acid. So it dissociates partially. If we have 0.5 molar of this acetic acid, we are not going to have 0.5 molar of hydronium ions. The concentration of the hydronium ions is going to be much less than the concentration of the acetic acid so here to find the pH for weak acids okay first we have to find the concentration of hydronium ions and to find the concentration of hydronium ions we need to use the constant of equilibrium which in this case is called ionization constant of the acid Ka Ka is going to be equal to the concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactants ex excluding liquids and solid substances so here going to be equal to the concentration of hydronium ions multiplied by the concentration of acetate ions divided by the concentration of acetic acid at equilibrium. So in this case, we have the constant of equilibrium, which is Ka, and also we have the concentration of the acid at equilibrium then we can find the concentration of the hydronium and later we can find the pH let's have an exercise calculate the pH of 0.15 molar acetic acid solution acetic acid it's a weak acid so it's going to dissociate partially as follows At the beginning, we had 0.15 molar of acetic acid. While we had zero hydronium ions and zero acetate ions. At equilibrium, the concentration of acetic acid is going to be equal to 0.15 minus X, which is the quantity dissociated. And the concentration of hydronium ions is going to be equal to X. And the concentration of acetate ions is going to be equal to X. And here, to use the ionization constant of acetic acid, Ka, we should write the concentration of the products divided by the concentration of the reactants, excluding the liquid and the solid substances. So it's equal to concentration of hydronium ions, multiplied by the concentration of acetate ions, divided by the concentration of acetic acid at equilibrium and the ionization constant of acetic acid is equal to 1.78 times 10 to the power minus 5 so if we replace the concentrations by their values we're going to have this most of the books they neglect X compared to the concentration of the acetic acid. They consider the acetic acid as a weak acid, so it's going to dissociate partially, and the concentration of hydronium ions is going to be negligible compared to the concentration of acetic acid. So here the denominator is going to be equal to 0.15. So when we do cross multiplication and then we make square root for the answer, X is going to be equal to 1.634 times 10 to the power minus 3 
But what if we don't neglect x and solve it as a quadratic? Let me show you. In this case, we have to solve it as a quadratic equation. And the roots of the quadratic equation is going to be equal to x equal to minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. And if we solve them, we're going to have two values for x. x it's equal to 0 0.001625. And the other one, x equal to minus 0 0.001643. For sure, we have to neglect the negative value because we cannot have a negative concentration. And also, it's not reasonable for the concentration of acetic acid to increase at equilibrium. So as you can see, the numbers we get from both ways are very close. So it's easier for you to neglect X in the denominator. And when you find X, which is the concentration of hydronium ion, then you can find the pH easily by doing the formula pH, it's equal to minus log concentration H3O plus, which is minus log 1.634 times 10 to the power minus 3, which is equal to 2.8. So in the case of a strong acid, you can find the pH easily because the concentration of hydronium ions is equal to the concentration of the acid. While in weak acids, you have to find the concentration of hydronium ions using the constant of equilibrium or ionization constant of the acids and then find the pH.